glitz, glamour and gorgeous models. It's game time at the second annual Africa Fashion Week. Johannesburg welcomes African pride and beauty, hosting the trans-seasonal collections of the continent's best designers. At Africa Fashion Week, new design trends are showcased. I'm here today to meet with Ghanaian-born designer Mimi Plange. She's come back to home soil from her New York City base to showcase her label, Boudra Ditre. Plange has lived and worked in America most of her life. The designer who has dressed music superstars like Rihanna is excited to show her collection in Africa. Africa is definitely the future and there's so much opportunity here, there's so much growth that can happen, especially within fashion. I also feel like everyone's looking to us right now to see what we're doing, the World Cup is going on right now. Um, I just think that Africa is the future, there's just a, an immense opportunity here on this continent. She is inspired by the Victorian age, creating garments that are sensual and old world. I'm inspired by that age because it was an age where there was a lot of creativity and individuality. At that time, women were still making a lot of their own clothing. Everyone wanted to have their own unique, special style. And so I want us to return to that uniqueness. And Plange is optimistic that her design aesthetic will appeal to generations for years to come. I don't think that there's many designers from Africa doing what I do, and I think that that's why it's going to work. Bringing Africa Fashion Week to a close with a bang, Plange's debut show in Africa highlights the rich talent the continent has to offer. Poppy and Putin, E! News, Johannesburg.